out taking a morning walk, hashtag move more. Let's talk sugar. Wow, I'm feeling you're seeing this upside down. Is sugar killing me? This is year one, week 26. cleaned up after my morning walk so again hashtag move more but we're talking sugar and this is the chemical formula for sugar you might be whoa whoa uncle mike mike don't nerd out on me this early in the video but it's just sugar and or sucrose as it's uh, commonly referred to in the chemistry world. And again, I really don't like chemistry. So one of the things that I'm trying to do with my understanding of biochemistry and this whole journey and education and exploration of being less fat is trying to understand what all of this means in terms of labels on food and what the health community and the fitness community are are telling me so for example let's let's take a look at this ketchup according to the nutritional facts here of sugar in ketchup one tablespoon, a regular spoon that you use out of your kitchen drawer, which I'm sure we don't use just one tablespoon on burgers and fries and everything else, has four grams of sugar. So just one tablespoon, one spoonful of ketchup has got warm, almost, almost, not quite, almost one of these in it. This is a five gram packet of sugar. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna try to relate everything back to a single packet of sugar or how many packets of sugar. So a tablespoon of ketchup almost has one five gram packet of sugar absolutely amazing <laughs> but let's look at something that that you know might be more i don't know typical of what people buy so here we go nesquik chocolate milk low fat so wow this isn't too beer too bad hmm 70 years of great taste. <laughs> Real milk. 14 grams of protein. Oh my God, this has got to be amazing. This has got 37 grams of sugar. And again, what the hell does that mean? That means it's got six, look, six packets of sugar in the bottle crazy absolutely crazy let's look at this vitamin water it's vitamin water it's got to be it's got to be good i mean it's 100 calories whole serving is a bottle and it's got five packets holy shit got five packets of sugar, five spoonfuls of sugar in this one vitamin water bottle. Absolutely amazing. But let's look at something that might be, I picked this up at the grocery store. So let's, let's take a look at this. This is, this is Yoplait Whips, low fat yogurt, Moose, so I'm thinking, you know, this is not as thick. I mean, I can feel that it's, it's it's lighter. So I'm like, 
hey, this has got to be pretty good. It's strawberry. I'll, 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 I'll tell you, it's strawberry. So, and again, this is not none of this is my opinion. I'm just, I'm just reading the label here. This has got over four packets of sugar. Four of these in one of these low fat. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Let's do something else here that I've got. Granola. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Back to nature. Glutton. Glutton free. Classic granola. This is good. This is good stuff. And a serving size is a half a cup. So a serving size of this is... The same as, well, it's 50 grams, so it's the same weight as 10 of these packets of sugar. So that's that's a serving size, and it's got wow, it's got two packets of sugar in this, which means it's got. If there's seven servings in this bag, then there's 14 packets of sugar in this. And I'm just doing sugar. I'm not doing like carbohydrates or, or anything like that that eventually gets turned into, you know, sugar and all that in your body. I'm just doing straight sugar. Back to nature, though. Crazy, absolutely amazing. And then I, I'm just going to say it, the, the coup de gras here. <laughs> here we go. Coca-Cola. Serving size. One whole bottle. Holy shit Holy shit I don't have enough packets of sugar for this it's got 65 grams of sugar that's 13 packets of sugar only got 10. Absolutely amazing. Holy crap. Oh my God. But if we're going to do a fair comparison of all this stuff, If we're going to do a fair comparison, well, how much sugar do I have in this? My body, in my blood. That's the question really we also need to ask to do a fair comparison. How much do I have in my body? And also, how much should I have in my body? That is what we'll explore next. So if I'm going to do a fair comparison with these food products as to how much sugar they've got compared to how much sugar I should have, then I need to figure out my blood sugar level. And we're, and we're going to test that here on this video. But what should my blood sugar level be? So I've done some research, and and I'm I'm a male, so I've got 12 pints of blood, and which actually converts to about 56 deciliters. You might be saying, why are we doing this in in deciliters? Well, the reason being is is because blood sugar levels from most over-the-counter monitors or testers 
uh, measure in milligrams per deciliter. So I've got about 56 deciliters of blood. But then how much sugar should I have in my blood after fasting, which means I haven't eaten and I haven't eaten for 12 hours. So my normal body process has done its work. And so now normal, for me normal, my body has consumed the sugar that it will just normally consume. So my blood sugar levels have normalized and so now we're ready to do a test. So I've got 56 deciliters of blood in me and according to on average modern medicine it looks as if I should have about 100 milligrams per deciliter of blood sugar. And that's actually on the high side. It, it should be lower than that, but, but we're gonna just stick with a 100 because actually anything really over 100 after fasting is considered, considered pre-diabetic. So I think anything over 125, well that means 125 milligrams per deciliter is considered diabetic. So we're going to test my blood sugar on this video. So I bought an, an over-the-counter uh, monitor here. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna break my finger and I'm gonna draw blood. I'm so scared. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but we're actually going to test my blood sugar level and see what it is. But going back to a fair comparison, what actually is 100 milligrams per deciliter of blood. What does that equate to in in the real world, right? So like, you know, we did this whole, this comparison here of vitamin water and vitamin water has got five, right? So five packs of sugar here. Let's get five packs. Uh -huh. Five, five packets of sugar. So what does 100 milligrams per deciliter mean for my 12 pints or my 56 deciliters? And this is where it gets crazy. 100 milligrams per deciliter for me having 12 pints of blood or 56 deciliters converts to one packet of sugar in my blood. So I should have less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. The, the monitor should read 100 or less because that means I should have less than one, one packet of sugar in my blood after fasting. Absolutely amazing. So, let's get into the blood glucose test. Okay, so I bought this On Call Express blood sugar tester monitor gizmo. <laughs> So uh, what I am supposed to do, and yes, for all of you out there, uh, yes, I have used cotton uh, swabs and alcohol swabs and all of that to, to sterilize all around me as best I can. So uh, I feel like I'm, I'm being safe here with uh, this because I guess uh, I don't want this to end up requiring a... Uh, a body fluid kit to, to clean up here. So, but yeah, so I bought this, this on call it was like 20 bucks. It came with a, a bunch of, uh, of test strips already. I think it came with 10 or something like that. Uh, it actually came with something to, to, to lance or to prick your finger so you can get a drop of blood. So that's what we're going to do here right now. And so what it tells me to do is take the little test strip here and stick it, stick it in, stick it in, baby. And so it initializes here. 
And so now it's ready for blood. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put that down here. And, and this is actually the thing that pricks my finger. It says to do it on the side of your finger. So, so here we go. We're going to prick the side of my finger here. So it says to do this. And then here we go. That did not even hit my finger. Attempt number two. Mm. There's a little adjuster thing here, so I'm going to adjust this maxed out here. See what we can do. I was worried about that. I, I looked at this thing and I, I tested it, and I, I did feel something prick my. I mean, it hit my finger, but it didn't. Obviously, it didn't <laughs> penetrate at all. So we're going to max this thing out and see what happens here. So. Now there's a little bit of blood coming out though. There's a little tiny bit of blood. So we're going to do this much harder. This is probably really going to hurt now. So here you go. Eh, not really. Eh, eh, eh. There's a little tiny bit of blood coming out. Let's see if I can work it out. There we go. We're getting some blood out now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. It's still waiting to say that it's so now what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to put this just kind of right up and it's there it goes three it's monitoring it's monitoring so there we go according to this i am actually pre-diabetic my sugar level is 106 so i have just a little bit more than a packet of sugar still in my blood right now, which according to modern medicine, I am pre-diabetic. So, hmm. So, gonna have to do some research and, and find out uh, that, but I'll, I'll test this again and, and see how this is going. So this is a good, this is a good baseline if you wanna say it. So, very interesting, a little concerning too, but uh, obviously I'm still, mm, fat uh, I think by modern terms right I'm um, right now uh, I weighed myself before I did this after fasting and I'm still 252 pounds which is amazing because I've lost now 59 pounds so very interesting so there you go you can test your own sugar levels but it's absolutely amazing to consider that after fasting you should only have one packet, less than one packet of sugar in your blood when this has got 13 packets of sugar. Absolutely amazing. Well, now I know that, yeah, sugar is killing me but the good thing is that now I know and knowing's half the battle G.I. Joe <laughs> uh, I loved G.I. Joe when I was a kid so but yeah it's very interesting and we'll well, I will test regularly here now on my vlog so I will see you will see we'll all see together um, if that trend is going down uh, to under a hundred or under one packet of sugar absolutely amazing uh, but yeah I need to get that down under that one packet of sugar after fasting uh, to get uh, underneath this pre-diabetic and we've got all kinds of other things that we can do right we can we can check blood pressure and all of this in the future but it just got me thinking about sugar and blue co uh, blah blah yeah uh, blood glucose or blood sugar level so absolutely amazing <laughs> well the good thing is is that next week we're going to Las Vegas, so I will see you in week 27.